Hi, this is Joe from Workspace Talk. Today, we're going to be discussing importing an AutoCAD 3D and transferring the intelligence of a standard product over to that. Then we're also going to be discussing uh, bringing in and creating a special. And so that way, when you create a new project, you can actually insert this new special with your custom sizes or whatever shapes, and it will be attached to your SIF so that you have a library of new parts that you can share with all your friends at your company. Hello, CET users. Today, we are going to export this file into a format that you could import into CET. So we are going to go under File and Export Center, and then under the format name, Common, uh, with a common area, we're going to choose SIF with Combined Part and Option Number. Hit export, browse to where you want to put it in, and you got yourself a file that is ready for importing. Hello, we're going to be bringing in a custom panel, but first you would need to just bring in a regular part number, which this one has. Don't feel that you need to specify it or add finishes or anything because all we need it for is its intelligence. And let's go over here to CAD tools under CAD settings. We're going to be importing an AutoCAD 3D. Click on import, new, select your part, hit open. Make sure to go under settings and you want to select 3D symbol. Click on that. Make sure under 3D that show in 3D view is checked. Hit insert. And let's take a look. Hey, we are successful. Great. So we need to apply a finish to your custom 3D model that you just imported. There's one way you could just select it, just click on it. Or if you're having issues, you might want to just hold down your control key, cross select and let go of the mouse button. And you can see that it's already been selected. Go under your material change palette, material explorer, click on that button right there. You can see that I already pre-selected my finish, but if um, you're not so lucky, just go ahead and type in the last three letters of your finish and you can see it brings up my medium matte walnut. Just click on that and your finish is applied. We have our brand new imported 3D object from either AutoCAD or SketchUp right over here. And we also have our standard part number uh, standard product that is very close to to the special that we want and in order to transfer this intelligence over to this symbol you would go under your edit graphic symbols tool an icon here right over here it's under uh, CET tabs and you would go under tools replace graphics and you just simply select that you're gonna Place your mouse over your custom created symbol. It has an outline in green. Select that first, and then you're going to go over to your standard part number. You'll see the blue outline. Click on that, and then it shows that um, it's going to transfer over the, uh, the symbol, and it shows it in a green shade. Uh, go ahead and well, I'm just dragging over this options uh, menu that shows up. I'm just going to click OK because I like how everything looks. And then when you click on it, you go to query, you right click, and then you'll see that this has the standard part number and pricing. 
in order to make it a special, you click on the cell, click on make special. I'm gonna drag this over here so we can see it. And we're gonna import the SIF file that we created as shown in the previous tutorial. Select your tutorial, select your SIF, hit open, click on this black triangle here and select your SA number. I'm gonna click on okay. And then you can see that it transferred everything over the description and even the finish and also the pricing a grand total of five dollars okay we're going to go on to the next step so we created a uh, symbol that has information attached but the original tag is still there. So we want to call this a special. The first thing you got to do is go to your calculations page and I already have it here. It's called ind.tag. And if you don't have that, go to your main folder, click on this folder icon and just go under the columns and under column ind dot tag and just make sure that it's checked under that I hit close and simply just double click in the cell and I'm just going to call it a special S P C L. Oops. Let me capitalize that S P C L hit enter and then we'll close out of it on the bottom right hand corner. And there you go. S P C L. I'm glad that we, um, are able to change this so that our install drawings would look great. You want to be able to create a library from this. So you'd simply click on your symbol, right click and go down to save as favorite. And then you would save it to your network and save it so that your other coworkers can download it. And there you go, create your own library. Congratulations, you have just created a custom part, also known as a favorite, which includes special pricing, finishes, and description. We have also adjusted the tags so that it reads properly for your install drawings. Now, you can begin a library of custom parts that are available to your team and your company. So, See you on the next video where we will explore more of CET. Thank you and goodbye.